Welcome everybody to the AmeriCorps State Formula Competitive Program eGrants Portal 101. Today we are going to discuss member management through your eGrants Portal. Next slide, please. On the agenda today, we will discuss the eGrants Portal with a general overview. We will then move into the My AmeriCorps portal for member management. We will then move on to member enrollment, exit, and suspension. We then have a list of resources as well as Q&A at the very end. Next slide, please. The eGrants portal is an online system that is designed to streamline recruitment, enrollment and member management. It is the system that the Corporation for National and Community Service uses in order to oversee the AmeriCorps programs. It is also the system that Serve DC uses to oversee the programs as well. What the eGrants portal allows you to do is to create your service opportunity listings for AmeriCorps members. You then are able to recruit and accept member applications. Once you have accepted your members, you then go to enroll them and place your members at service sites. You then throughout the year are able to create and approve any service changes that might happen with your AmeriCorps member. Once the AmeriCorps member is finished with their terms of service, you will then exit them at the end of the program year through the portal. And as an overview, the eGrants portal itself, as I said, provides member and program oversight. The next few slides will be going over the enrollment process in eGrants, and that is going to be led by my colleague, Tracy. So next slide, please. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining the webinar. So for the next few slides, I will be going over the My America portal for members, member screening, criminal history checks, and the member enrollment process. The purpose and member action steps for the My America portal is to register on My America, search and apply for service, accept or reject service invitations, enroll, complete service and survey, exit service and receive legal education award and to receive alumni services. Please see the link provided below to follow the website landing page for prospective members. Member screening. Programs must conduct member screening on all prospective members as part of their recruitment and selection process ensuring that members are eligible to apply. All national criminal history checks to include national sex offender public website, state and or FBI checks must be initiated and completed prior to members' start of service date. As stated in the previous slide, there are three types of criminal history checks. The first type is the National Sex Offender Public Website, the NSOPW. The second type are the state checks. The state checks consist of service checks, which will be the DC State Criminal History Check, and the state of residence where the member resided at the time of applying. And lastly, the third type is the FBI Nationwide Fingerprint State Check. Which checks are required? Member with no access to vulnerable populations must have the NSOPW, state checks, or FBI checks. Members having access to vulnerable populations must have their NSOPW, state checks, and FBI checks. Vulnerable populations are people who are 17 years old or younger, 60 
and older and people who have a disability. Service Terminal History Check. DNCS strongly recommend programs to establish two spring bill print accounts to use for timely and compliant National Criminal History Check. Failure to conduct timely and compliant National Criminal History Check may delay member enrollment and result in cost disallowances. Full screen and field print resources. Please follow the links provided below on how to sign up and learn about NSOPW, state checks, and the FBI field print processes and turnaround time. Completion of the NSOPW, criminal state checks, and FBI checks must be certified by checking the relevant boxes on the member enrollment form, no later than the member's start date. Please remember to click Save Information after checking the boxes. The member's start date cannot be earlier than these dates. Member enrollment. This flowchart is designed to guide you through the Miracle Member enrollment process and the My Miracle portal. Please begin the member enrollment process as soon as possible after grant notification. This includes taking proactive steps to plan for member recruitment, citizenship verification, and national criminal history check processes well in advance of your expected member starting. Also, Members who previously served in a miracle must ensure that they are exited from their previous program and not a miracle. Logging into eGrant after entering the program's grant number. Click on Portal Home. Invite members. Click on Invite members on the left navigational panel. Invite members. Get to member data and select program year, grant year, and member service location. Click on add another to send current invitation and enter another invitation. Click Save to send one invitation and return to your home page. Click Cancel to disregard any entries you made. Enroll members invited through the invitation process. Click SNN Work Basket on the left navigational panel. Then click the Pendant Invitations tab on top of navigational panel. Click Members Name to open enrollment form. Click delete if you are not going to enroll the number. Enroll members invited through the invitation process. 
for members enrollment form will appear under pending enrollment. If you had clicked on save information on the member enrollment form from the pending invitation section, or if the invitee had completed the members portion of the enrollment form. Enroll members selected through My America application process. Click Action and Word Baskets on the left navigational panel. Then click Pending Enrollment tab located on the top of the navigational panel. Click on Members Name to open enrollment form. Click Delete if you want to delete the enrollment form. Enroll members after member has completed the enrollment form. Enter member start date and select program year, program title, service location, and slot type. Select the checkbox to certify your portion of the enrollment. Click save information to save the enrollment data without activating. Click Enroll Member to activate the member's enrollment. Click Cancel to disregard any changes made. What to do if the enrollment isn't active? Step one is to check the member's social security number and citizenship verification status. Step two is to check the NFCHC certification. And step three is to check the entered start date. If all of the steps above are complete and you still cannot enroll the member, please contact the National Service Hotline. This is the end of my presentation. So now I'm going to turn it back over to my colleague, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Now let's go to the next slide. We are now going to discuss how to exit your member in the eGrants portal once the program year has ended. Next slide, please. When Amer an AmeriCorps member in service, the grantee will need to exit them from the eGrants portal within 30 days of their last day of service. Members must complete their own exit form in the portal unless the program has received a waiver to use paper forms. Next slide, please. To exit the member, go to the portal and under Manage Members, search for the member you want to exit. You will see on the left-hand side of the screen, there is a Manage Members tab. You click on that, which will get you to the member's search attributes. You will then enter the member's first and last name, along with the program name and program year. You will then hit Submit. Next slide, please. Once you hit submit, you will go to the next screen where it will show the member's information. Click on the bottom of the screen where you select view in the bottom right hand corner. The exit member link above on the left hand side of the page does not work. So please click view 
on the lower right hand side of the page instead. Next slide, please. Once you click view, the next page will pop up where you will select the link that says unlock exit form. Next slide, please. Once you click on that link, an email will be sent to the member indicating the following. If the member is unable to complete their own exit form, the grantee can always complete it for them. But either way, they will receive an automated email, which will have a link where they can go after they click on um, their exit. Next slide, please. From the email, the member will follow the link to log into the My AmeriCorps portal account and complete their exit form and their member exit survey. The links for these forms will be under close of service forms. They will click exit form to begin. Once they have completed their exit form, they will submit to proceed. After completing this exit form, the member exit survey will automatically begin. Once they have completed this, you will receive a message at the top of the screen indicating that your member exit survey has been submitted. Next slide, please. After the member completes their exit form and their survey, the grantee can go back into the eGrants portal to review and approve the member's exit by navigating to the Pending Exits tab in the SNN Work Basket. The exit form will appear with some fields pre-populated with information entered by the member. Here, the program can enter the rest of the information and approve the member's exit by clicking the Approve button at the bottom of the right-hand screen. Next slide, please. Once this is all completed, the system will indicate that the member has been exited. Once the program finishes their exit form, the member will receive two emails with details regarding their earned Eli Siegel Education Award. The program is responsible for maintaining proper documentation of the data it enters into the portal. The required documentation should be part of the program's policies and must be regularly monitored. We have also provided a link at the bottom of this page where you can find more information on how your member can use their education award once they complete their service. Next slide, please. We will now discuss how you can suspend a member in the eGrant system. Next slide. Throughout the program year, you may come to an instance where you have to suspend a member for a period of time. If this happens, you need to log into the eGrants portal home and navigate to manage members linked in the bar to the left. Here, you can search the member you would like to suspend by the name, program, and year, and then click Submit. Next slide, please. Once you have found the member, click the link that is that member's name. Next slide. Once you have clicked that link, it will then pop up with the member information. You will need to click View in the bottom right-hand corner of the member information screen to go to the next page. Next slide. On the next screen, you will need to choose suspend in the drop down menu in the bottom right hand corner and then click next. Next slide. You will then enter a date of the start of the suspension. Please remember that this date cannot be a future date. You will then click Create at the bottom right hand of the screen. Next slide. 
there will be a message indicating that the request is pending approval. Next slide. We suggest that grantees have a process in place that allows for one staff member to suspend an AmeriCorps member and another staff member to go in and approve it. To approve the suspension, navigate to the status change request tab in the work basket and click the member's name to view their status. You will then review the information and approve or reject the suspension. A message will appear at the top of the screen that reads, the suspension request was approved successfully or it was rejected. Next slide. Reinstating a suspended member after they have been suspended. Next slide. If you wish to reinstate the member that you have suspended, these are the steps that you must follow. Navigate to the portal home in eGrants. Under manage members in the left bar, search the suspended member you wish to reinstate. Click on the member's name to move forward, then click view in the bottom right hand corner to open up the screen that offers different actions from which to choose. Choose the option and the drop down menu for reinstate and click next. Enter a date to effectuate the reinstatement. Remember that this cannot be a future date, then click create. Navigate to the status change request tab in the work basket and click the member's name to either reject or approve the reinstatement. If you do approve, afterwards there will be a screen that indicates the approval was accepted and the member has been reinstated. When the member is searched, their status will once again read in service. Next slide. That concludes the presentation. We do have a list of resources. If you would like to explore the My AmeriCorps portal more and you have further questions, we recommend that you go to the website that we have listed on this slide, which is support for their AmeriCorps national programs in eGrants. It's most particularly the My AmeriCorps portal. If you need further technical assistance, we suggest you contact the eGrants help desk. And then finally, if you have any other questions, please contact your program officer, which is Tracy, or please feel free to contact myself, Jenny Kessler. Next slide. If you do have questions, we also have an AmeriCorps uh, email address where you can submit any questions at any time. This is AmeriCorps at dc.gov. Next slide. Finally, we want to thank you all for joining us for this webinar presentation. This is our contact information. If you do have any questions about this or if you need any further guidance. Thank you and have a great day.